Hello and welcome to Motorboats Monthly's practical section brought to you by Garmin. Today we're going to be looking at your onboard safety equipment and the checks that you should carry out to make sure that come the season all your kit will be ready to go. When it comes to life jackets there are a few simple checks that you can carry out to make sure that everything's in good order. Firstly if you open up the jacket and have a look for the gas cylinder and the firing mechanism. Now with the cylinder unscrew it and just give it an inspection and make sure that there's no corrosion on it. Corrosion causes rough surface which can degrade the actual bladder of the life jacket and can make holes in it. So if it is corroded you think about getting it changed. Uh, the other thing that's worth checking for when you've taken it out is to make sure that it hasn't fired. This one in fact has got a hole in it and that tells us that that's been fired despite the life jacket being all packed up. Um, it should be looking like that. Um, so obviously that needs replacing. Um, even if it has not been obviously fired, it's still worth weighing it. There's a weight on here, I'll tell you what it should weigh. This particular one here is 136 grams. Um, and if you weigh it and it weighs 136 grams, you know it's full. If it weighs less than that, it's empty and needs replacing. Now we're going to look at the firing mechanisms on the life jacket. Now if it's a manual one like this, all you're really looking to do is to make sure that the pull toggle is in place and the retaining pin that stops any accidental discharge of the gas bottle is in order. If it's a automatic one like this one, um, there's normally some dates on it. It tells you when it's going to expire. In this case with a hammer version, um, if this indicator is red it needs replacing, if this handle is missing it needs replacing, uh, and the time expiry during 2010, so this one is overdue for replacement. The next thing we're going to do is an inflation test. We're going to pump the life jacket up nice and hard um, using the inflation tube. We're not going to pump it by mouth because we don't want to introduce too much moisture inside the bladder. Um, we'll leave it overnight uh, and then the next morning the life jacket should still be very firm. If it's lost any air at all overnight then you've obviously got a problem and that life jacket should probably be discarded or at least repaired. And the other thing to do while it's inflated is just to give it a good once over. Check all the straps, all the fixings, the buckles, make sure it's got good integrity everywhere. There's no possible damage that might cause a problem in the future. And if it has got a manufacturer's date, I mean this one was manufactured in 1999 and, and to be fair, 10 years is probably about as good as you're going to get out of a life jacket. So really, despite the fact that this is probably past everything, it's probably due for replacement anyway. If you've got a life raft on board, there's a couple of simple checks that you can make. There's nothing you can actually do to it, but you can certainly make a couple of checks. Um, firstly, just make sure that the, the firing lanyard is accessible, hasn't got lost inside for when you need it. Um, and secondly, you need to just check the service date. Now, this one is in fact 1998, so as you can tell, it's a long overdue a service. So we're going to get this one booked in sooner rather than later to avoid the rush. There's a few other items on board that you should be checking. Um, we'll start with flares. Now we've just had a look in uh, Bluefin's big flare bucket and right at the bottom we found these two little beauties. Um, now these have got an expiry date of 12.05 so they're obviously very overdue for replacement so we're going to get rid of those responsibly obviously and we're going to get a couple of new ones in. Now most of us have got some dry powder fire extinguishers on board. Now there's nothing you can do to service these but what you can do is obviously check the gauge to make sure that the pressure looks good. Have a good look over the cylinder to make sure there's no damage or corrosion. Um, there should be a manufacturer date on there. This one was 2009. Now these really only last for five years because they're due a full hydrostatic test after five years, which is obviously uneconomical, so we tend to throw them away and buy a new one. So if that's more than five years old, you need to get that replaced. I think we can give it a quick shake to make sure that the uh, dry powder hasn't settled and we'll stick that back ready for action if it's needed. Now if you've got any EPIRBs or PLBs on board like these, these have got uh, a test function on them, a button that you press. You get some lights that flash to tell you everything's working as it should do. There'll also be a date stamped on them. Uh, on this one, it's at the back here. It tells you when the battery is due replacement. That's normally five years. So if yours is coming up for service, a bit like the life raft, get it in sooner rather than later because they do get quite busy. Now, lastly, the only other thing probably worth thinking about is your first aid kit. Now, if you had any sort of minor instances last year where you had to dig into your first aid kit, now is a good time to have a look through, replace anything that you used, and then just generally check that all the other kit in there is still within its servicing dates. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.